A new Wordle puzzle is online. Click on the link to play. Listening to the following video may give you clues. Please like and share the videos. If Verizon outage prevents you from calling 911, text it. If Verizon outage in Wyoming prevents you from calling 911, text it. Here are some solutions to restore service during an outage. Text 911 is the easiest way to reach emergency personnel in the case of an emergency. However, there are some exceptions. If the outage is widespread, you can use a cell phone to text the number to 911. To get the emergency response team to respond more quickly, you may want to call them instead. If Verizon outage in Wyoming prevents you from calling 911, you can text it. If a Verizon outage in Wyoming prevents you from calling 911, texting 9 minutes on a minutes, one may be the best option. The company has posted on social media to remind users that it will not be a problem if 911 texting is available. Verizon Wireless is reporting intermittent outages throughout the state, including Natrona and Sublette counties. There is no estimated time frame for a full recovery if you are unable to use Wi-Fi calling. Texting 911 is a better option. Wi-Fi calling requires internet access and works differently than traditional 911 calling services. It may not be available due to connection failure, congestion, or other technical issues. However, it is a viable option for people in emergency situations. Text 911 can help you communicate with emergency personnel even if there is no cell service available. How to restore Verizon service after an outage. A recent Verizon outage has affected the western city of Casper, Wyoming. The Natrona County Emergency Management has posted a statement on social media informing customers of the outage and letting them know how to contact Verizon if they have an emergency. Verizon Wireless has reported intermittent voice calls disrupted in Netronaut Sublet and other areas of the state. A spokesperson has yet to issue a statement, but says the company is aware of the problem and is working to fix the problem. The company recently experienced an outage in parts of New Mexico and Wyoming. CenturyLink which handles the wireless network data traffic for Verizon, tweeted that they'd identified the source of the problem, has contacted customers to fix the issue. However, they didn't specify how many customers were affected and did not explain what was causing the outage. Regardless, there's a better way to fix the problem now than waiting for Verizon to come out of hibernation. Ways to restore Verizon service after an outage. Before you can fix the problem, you should first check if the network outage is affecting everyone in the area. If it is, get a backup internet connection and log into your Verizon account. Turn on outage notifications if you want to know if there are any updates or problems. If you can't log in, you can check for updates on the company's social media accounts. If you can't log into your Verizon account, contact customer support. You can ask them what's causing the outage. Sometimes, the problem could be with your router. In such a case, you can perform a firmware update. This is equivalent to restarting your router. Once you complete the update, your router should be working again. If you still experience connectivity problems, contact Verizon to make arrangements for a new service. If you've been unable to use your phone for the past couple of hours, try calling the carrier directly. The company should be able to help you get your service back up as soon as possible. The problem is likely related to software updates that they perform during periods of low traffic, which usually happens when traffic is light. This can be difficult if you're not able to contact the company on a regular basis. Another way to fix your Verizon service after an outage in Wyoming is to contact your phone company and ask them to help you. In the meantime, you can text 9 minutes on a minutes when if you have an emergency or are unable to call your provider. Verizon's website has a detailed list of the affected areas and information. The company also offers a guided solution tool. You can use this tool to determine the root cause of the problem and how to fix it. If you don't have a backup device, you may have to wait a while for Verizon technicians to fix the problem. If they cannot fix the problem in a short time, they may reduce the signal strength, which affects other users. Another common cause of outages is the use of other cell phone towers in the area. You may even have only one or two in the area, which limits the coverage.